A couple of weeks ago, I made my way down to the Gold Coast to meet up with Eric Davis. He has a little workshop on the Gold Coast and builds quite some incredible cars. Let's have a look at his Land Rover Series 2A, built in 1966, which Eric owns now for over 16 years. Eric, like myself, is a big fan of responsible technical four-wheel driving and uh, has done the most difficult tracks which you can find really in New South Wales and Queensland in his 109. Here you see a couple of uh, short clips of him driving various tracks uh, from Giesam South to Yawal. Eric built the 109 with simplicity in mind, so he still has a lot of stock gear on the truck. However, one of the major modifications he did was transplanting a set of Volvo C303 portal axles, which will give him a 5-inch lift and absolute incredible ground clearance. He is running a set of uh, Q78 Super Swampers in a 35-inch uh, diameter tire. Let's have a bit closer look now at the individual modifications. Here's a good example how much difference the portal axles make in regards to diff clearance. In gear, exhaust brake off, night pedals. Just touch the accelerator. And disengage, oh, the brake. Just speeds yeah. up, turn it off, slows you down. Nice, and you hear it, you hear yeah. that working, that hissing. Yeah. So this is exhaust brake on, off. Just Which gear are we in? First. First. So yeah, that's about as slow as I can crawl down. That's nice. So you, you could really get out of the car if it was not going to turn. Yes. Yeah. So it's very controlled, which is good for going down steep steps. So pretty nifty system, oh yeah, system Eric set up to check whether everything is good if he did some gnarly stuff. Yeah, so what you do is you make sure your front diff lock's out, rear diff lock's out, uh, your centre diff is locked in now, and while you're driving you take the load off and push it against the spring, and if you keep driving with the centre diff lock out, you know you've got drive to each corner. Then the spring pulls it back in for you and you can keep playing. You're back in center diff. Cool. Eric built his own custom PTO winch with a unique hand braking mechanism. So he has full control over the winch speed from slow to super fast. The way he set it up means he can winch from nearly any angle without any cable adjustment required on the drum. So the radius of this fair lead doesn't put any extra strain on the cable than a um, snatch block does. Mm. So there's no point loading on the cable which would um, break the cable on a heavy pull. It's more gentle than a standard fair lead really, depending on the angle. Or? Yeah, you can use it on steel rope or plasma rope. Mm. So obviously that's a much stronger setup than than this uh, standard PTO winch you find on the on the Land Rovers. Yeah, no comparison. So that brake comes off, which takes the pressure off the free spill. A little spring there, that holds it open, so that's free. Mm -hmm. Go and hook up to a tree. Cool. Now uh, this winch setup is insane. 
when Eric is winching now, there is no drive to the wheels. Uh, the full speed, it's only the winch, which is controlled by his throttle. He's nuts! This is how it looks from the inside of the car, behind the middle console. Just nuts. Look how clean that spool is. Perfect. That's using the winch brake. It's winching, not driving. Uh, that was a car in neutral. Yeah, that's uh, pretty nuts. Yeah. Third gear for the steeper stuff. If it's a good run, fourth gear. And on the flat, you can go fifth and nail it, no problems. So, explain a little bit your winch setup, please, Eric. Um, just PTO, direct couple behind the um, cab. Running back, round some pulleys, forward all the way next to the chassis. So front winch, single line pull. Rear winch, always a double line pull and the hook stays on the bumper. So what do you reckon is your maximum speed? Um, forward winching? 10 meters a second. <laughs> and you have the whole system braked? Yeah. yeah, which I can regulate the speed on how fast I want to go down. Pretty cool. Go slow, go fast, I can let people down the hill at a good yeah. speed. When I'm winching people up, I just tell them put it in first or second gear and drive the hill. And if you slip a wheel, the winch will pull you up and then you drive again. Mm. And it, it's super quick to get 10 cars up the hill like that. Yes. As long as I'm anchored to a good tree, yeah. they'll, they'll come up. So, what are we having drive line wise here on that? Volvo portals, front and back, just stock standard, factory diff locks, factory wheels, set of swampers, got Range Rover transfer case, Isuzu 5-speed gearbox and 4BD1T out of a truck. So pretty simple truck, nice, theoretically. Nice and reliable and very well proven. Yes, how long do you have that truck for now? Uh, 18 years. 18 years. Yes. Been but engineered three or four times in different forms. Yeah, all road legal, all engineered. Yep. And the portals went in when? Uh, 2011, six years ago. Okay. And yeah. You can really punish it and it keeps asking for more. And that's still the first set. Never broken anything on the portals? Never. No. How often do you do a change of the, the portal oil and everything? I check them after every trip. Yeah. Just preventative. Yeah. If they're a little bit dirty, I change it. Mm -hmm. And that's usually just water. Wear and tear, they don't really go black. Okay. Alright, so UHF up the top. Um, speaker died in that, so I had to put an external speaker on there. Good old Smith's heater. Some heater taps down here. Your main battery cut off. This is an electrical fault causing a fire. Fuel tanks left to right using the single gauge, headlights, exhaust brake, wipers, taco, uh, center diff light, engine watchdog for your engine temperature, right. exhaust gas temp, boost gauge, uh, oil pressure, and the hazards. Pretty cool. And the um, exhaust brake switches on the accelerator pedal and the clutch pedal mm -hmm. so it works just like in a truck you don't have to switch it on and off every time you want it on it's all automatic you just flick that switch and that's yeah, it that um that energizes and then off your pedals and your gears it, it all works it out cool 
Yeah, so what suspension setup you have in there? Um, 86 Range Rover. Okay. Standard trailing arms with some sleeves put over the top. Shock mounts a pretty well standard location, nothing special. Rear coils are retained top and bottom. That's a battery. Certainly good clearance. Drive shafts all stock? Yeah, it's still the original 66 model drive shaft. Never changed it. Really? Well, setting up a little rear winch scenario. That's winching, not driving. Uh, that was a car in neutral. Eric? So that was a truck in neutral, huh? Uh, yeah, Dri yes. the wheels were not driving, they were just yes. free rolling. And that was fourth gear forwards, winching backwards. Fourth gear forward, winching backwards. Yeah. Okay guys, this was a quick walkthrough of Eric's 109. Certainly one of the coolest vehicles I've came across and it really shows Eric's expertise and eye to detail building this truck all by himself. If you enjoy the videos, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thanks a lot. See you next time.